Uh, my name is Abella Danger. I'm 21 years old and I'm from Miami, Florida. I started performing in adult films when I was 18 years old. You haven't really worked with too many people because you're so brand spanking new. Of the ones that you've already shot with, oh. who are your favorites? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Before Abella Danger would star in 150 adult movies over the past handful of years, making her one of the most prolific and popular porn stars of recent memory. Yeah, I like to get to know my fans. They're so sweet. They're all really cool and different. And I like to know why they like me so much because I'm like... What are some of the answers you get from them usually when you ask them that question? They like um, how much I love sex and then the most common answer is my butt. <laughs> Before Bella Danger would star in the adult film directed by former Disney Channel star Bella Thorne called her and him. Huh. Oh, okay. Before Bella Danger would have over 72,000 followers on TikTok, over 1.5 million followers on Twitter, and over 6.6 .6 million followers on Instagram at the time of this recording. Bella Danger is an American porn star and an exotic fireball straight out of Miami. This 25-year-old made her debut in the porn game about five years ago now, and it didn't take her long to fall in love with what she does. I see girls come and go all the time, and they don't they don't tweet about their scenes. They bar they barely have a presence online. Well, I'm definitely proud of the work that I do, so I want to show it to the world. Right. In fact, after shooting just eight scenes in the industry, Abella said goodbye to Miami and hello to LA. Moving out west and getting signed by elite talent manager Mark Spiegler, she told AVN, I told myself it's our universe and what we manifest is what will become and I told myself I am going to Los Angeles and I'm going to meet Mark Spiegler and I'm going to make him want me to be a Spiegler girl. Having accomplished that in such short order, Abella set her sights on becoming one of the top performers in the industry. Four AVN awards later, I'd say that she's well on her way to accomplishing just that. How's it going guys? It's your girl Azalea Hart, back at it again with a brand new video. This one taking a look at the come up of Abella Danger prior to fame here for you on Before They Were Famous. This channel has dabbled with porn stars quite a bit in the past because they always seem to be a big hit here. So if you'd like to see some other stars on this series, leave your ideas in the comments down below. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram as well at Azalea Zoe if you want to toss me some more ideas over there. Alright, let's get into the story. Hey, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell. Boom! A Bella Danger, as she's sometimes referred to, Bella Danger, was born on November 19, 1995 in Miami, Florida. She was raised in a Jewish household and spent a lot of her formative years practicing the art of dance, especially ballet and classical dancing. Miami is like so different it from like is. the rest of Florida. It kind of is. So they're like, oh, you live in Florida. I'm like, no. No, no Miami. I live in Miami. It's yeah, that's a different, that, there is a difference there. <laughs> Growing up, her father was actually 22 years older than her mother, which led to Bella developing a thing for older guys in her adult life. But as a kid, Bella was extremely inverted and kept her emotions all bottled up inside. Since she was a dancer, she was expected to dress act and carry herself in a very specific way. But once Bella hit her adolescence, things began to change. One day I decided to go into my, into my stepdad's closet and I got a porno from him. Yeah, and it was um, barely legal number 54. <laughs> and I took it into my room late at night uh -huh. and I put on this porno and the first scene to come on and the first, and the man that was in it was the first penis I ever saw in my life. On top of taking a liking to porn, she started to embrace the features of herself that made her unique, like for instance, her butt. At first, Bella absolutely detested her derriere because it was always interfering with how her dance costumes would fit, and some boys would make fun of her, telling her that she walked like a duck. But once she hit 15, she realized it was a good thing to be different from everyone else. She began to admire her own exaggerated features and promised that she would never let anyone change the way she thought about herself again. Bella lost her V-card while she was still in high school at the age of 16, and she apparently slept with the person who was, and still is, her best friend. At the time, all the other girls in her school were losing it to the love of their life, or at least who they thought would be the love of their life. But at that age, Bella already knew that most of those cases of forever love were only going to end in heartbreak and regret. It's a trap! So she asked her best friend to sleep with her because she knew that she would never resent him for it. To this day, she's still extremely happy with her choice. 
Once she started experiencing the joys of sex, she took to it like a fish to water. Before entering the porn industry at 19, she slept with almost 20 men and was also in relationships with women as well, dating one girl for over a year. It was actually during a relationship with one of these dudes when Bella first considered becoming a porn star for the first time. She had been dating this guy who was a porn star himself and the entire time he had been begging her over and over to do a shoot scene with him. At first she gave him a hard no, telling him that women in the industry don't get paid well enough to do it. But then he started taking her to set with him and she saw that everyone working there was having a pretty good time. So Bella eventually gave in and immediately fell in love with it. She shot her first five scenes with this guy before deciding that she wanted to move on and see what else she could accomplish on her own. She told Sense, he was like, I only want you to do this with me. And I was like, nice knowing ya. Bella ended up giving herself her porn name based upon her decision to move on from this relationship and try new dangerous things. She told Fleshbot, the plan was to only shoot with him. And I thought that danger was always really intriguing and beautiful, regardless of the fear that comes with it. So a beautiful danger just fit. Bella's first scene was for Bang Bros and she discovered that once the camera started rolling, a whole other side of her would come out. A side that absolutely reveled in the promiscuity of it all. Best of all, she loved how there was absolutely no judgment on set, only encouragement. She liked to say that she might have fallen into porn by accident, but she knows that it was always meant to be for her. Over the years, Bella has become so successful in the porn industry that it's opened doors for her in other media outlets as well. She's appeared on the likes of Wood Rocket, and even Fortune Magazine acknowledged her in 2018 as one of the most popular and in-demand performers in the entire market. She's also appeared in music videos like 911 by Borgor, and been cast in some of the biggest porn movies of recent memory, like the 2019 film Her and Him, which was the directorial debut of former Disney Channel star Bella Thorne. The film was produced by Pornhub and is the third film in the company's Visionaries Directors Club series. Is it playtime? <laughs> Her biggest mainstream moment was probably when she was selected by Kanye West to be a model for his Yeezy line. She says that Kanye first took notice of her after she did a parody of his music video with Tiana Taylor, Fade. Kanye laid eyes on the video and then hired her, and I mean, it's hard to blame him, right? Now in terms of how Bella keeps her remarkable figure, she says that it's simply a mixture of not eating like a total fat ass and working out occasionally, especially with dance that involves a lot of cardio. She still loves to dance to this very day and it's something that she uses to express her emotions without words. She keeps it private and uses it to center herself and gain peace. In terms of her future ambitions, Bella would love to be a part of a beauty campaign, something that could highlight one of her most distinguishing features, her face. But right now, she's concentrating on developing her skills as a director. She told Paper Magazine, I always think we need more women directors in porn. They happen to be the best directors. Last year, Bella put her money where her mouth is and directed the film Hide and Seek, and she plans on directing more in the future. In terms of transitioning to more mainstream Hollywood projects, she realizes that something like that would still be difficult thanks to the stigma that surrounds the adult film industry. She told Paper, it still closes a lot of doors for you. I told MTV, if I didn't tell you I was a porn star, you'd never know. You'd think I'm a normal person. And like casting women was just like, I would because I recognize your name. It was such a backhanded compliment. They don't realize I'm just a human being. Facing stigmas like that can be frustrating for sure, but if anyone can break through that glass ceiling and accomplish what they set their mind to, it's a woman with a name like a Bella Danger. Alright guys, I think we'll bring this video to an end right here. What did you guys think of Bella's story? Let me know in the comments down below and follow the show on Instagram at Before They Were Famous to vote on what's next. I'll see you guys in the next video. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Now we drop a new video each and every day, so here's a recent drop that you might enjoy. We handpicked that one for you because if you like this video, you'll probably like that. We also got playlists like over here, so click on that if you want to see a whole list of a bunch of videos we've dropped in the past. And if you're new to the Fame Gang, be sure to subscribe and turn on them post notifications. And I'll see you guys in another video. Boom!